All right, everyone, say queso on the count of three. One, two, three, queso! Say, Daddy, stop taking photos! Hey, has anyone figured out that I'm actually taking video? You've been pranked! Hello! Welcome, welcome! We are headed to Punta Esmeralda today and we are very excited because we heard it is a beautiful beach and Life's a beach. And then you can bring your children to Punta Esmeralda because it is... Salt life. Because it is... <laughs> awesome apparently it has very shallow water and the coolest thing about it is there's a cenote so i think that's what really draws yeah. me to it our dear friend nick was raving about this place we see you right there nick watching this and said so we got to go there so there's a cenote so a cenote is where that underground river flows and, and bubbles up with that fresh water and what's unique here is that it flows and bubbles up to the top and then from what I read it's like a little river of fresh water that runs down into the beach where it creates I guess like a little lagoon for the kids to play so it's a little bit safer um, not having to worry about all those waves so we can't wait to see that yeah it's supposed to be super gorgeous so come along and join us for our day come along Punta now esmeralda come on now we're gonna punch you right there hola mi amigos all right so we are at the entrance point to punta esmeralda so I guess a couple things to know is taxis in this area. We read all these horror stories on the expat and locals area about taxis. So luckily through our Spanish teacher, Miss Maestra Emily, Miss My Emily, Maestra. we love you. Maestra, see they're so good at Maestra. Spanish. Maestra Emily, she told us about her trusted taxi driver. Which so means teacher, I mean. yep, that it doesn't mean wonderful, Ellie. <laughs> Sorry, threw me off. I love it. So, anyways. She gave us his WhatsApp number, so we just WhatsApp him to pick us up. But things to know about taxis is there is a WhatsApp taxi number where they will put the actual, I guess, amount, the taxi number in text. So you're better protected. We'll put that in the description. Also a great idea we read is to, I guess when you negotiate a price, to have them write it down on a piece of paper. So later they can't say that you agreed to a different price and not let you out of the car. That's some of the scary stories we read. So um, just be smart. WhatsApp taxi in the link or also find a trusted taxi driver from a local. But they brought you right down to this road that you walk down to get to the Punta Esmeralda. And that's where we're going right now. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ding dong darlings. All right, so we've arrived at Punta Esmeralda. It's super beautiful, as you can see behind us. Uh, what's super fascinating is that the cenote is closed during times of COVID, but the beach is now open, so that's good. So you see the cenote flowing in like a little river into the beach behind us. And yeah, so we're gonna go check out the beach. So come on with. Oh, let's go walk across so we can get a place on the sand. We're gonna put our stuff down. Ooh, burr. How does it feel? Chilly, very, yeah. very chilly. A little cenote river into the beach. Hola. Uh, maybe later, we're not sure yet. Gracias. Right. So when you get here, you can uh, rent an umbrella. We had three people come up to us and ask if we wanted an umbrella, so you can do that. Um, but if you're in the water a lot, maybe you don't need one. I don't know, but it's gorgeous out here. You gotta come. Alright, so welcome to paradise. Hola Lassie. Did little Jimmy fall down in the well? So, look that little pupper, that's his name. Look at him. Little pupper. He's whining for food to everyone. But the good thing is, I definitely think he gets fed. Like, either he gets fed by the people on the beach. Oh, yeah, you can hear him whining right now. Yeah, he's literally whining to everyone. Poor guy. He's a little pupper. 
He's a what big pet him. So if you ain't got food, don't you be talking to me. So this is the cenote. And you see right here under these palm trees, the water bubbles up from the ground from the cenote, all that fresh water. Super cool, crisp water that flows right out into the ocean. Ooh. Burr. What do you think, big guy? How's it feel? Is it warm? Yeah. So it feels so good. I'm gonna get down in it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? How do you like the cenote? <laughs> Trying to walk all over me, big guy. All right, go for it. One, two, ow. Oh. So it feels absolutely delightful. A little river that you can sit in that flows from the cenote into the beach. You spend all day right here. It's awesome. So right under the palm trees is where the cenote bubbles up. So you can sit right where it bubbles, all that fresh water coming out underneath. <laughs> right underneath the palm trees. Absolutely stunning. All right, so from going from the Cenote River right into the ocean, you can feel the difference in temperature from super cold in the Cenote to super warm. Let's say super warm. I don't know, I think it feels pretty warm. Way warmer than the Cenote. Well, if you lay down in the Cenote and then you get in, look at all the little fish. So Ryder wants to go to the green. You can see in the water ahead where it's lighter and it's super shallow. That's really neat. It's super shallow as you walk out, so you can go pretty far, far out. Mm. Well, that's where we're going, baby. Piggyback. Yes. You're almost as tall as I am. I don't care. Oh yeah, I can feel the sludgy. Let's go to the green spot. Can I? Hey, buddy. Let's you go that guy. Um, this is sand here. Here we go. Look, look where, guys. Where we go? Guys, look down. You can see it's getting clear. <laughs> I see my feet, it's Ellie. Sand, sand. Ellie, look down. You sand. can see your feet. Okay, now Daddy shark. Daddy shark. Daddy shark. Daddy shark. Daddy shark. Daddy shark. I don't know if I was close enough. <laughs> he wasn't. This salt. This water is too salty to open your eyes in. Daddy shark. Get your goggles, Daddy. Why? Because then we can play tag. Ooh, I like the idea of tag. Yeah. Like, if you're gonna take me to the beach, like, one of my friends, we're going to the beach together, don't can carry me out. <laughs> I'm not touching Carry you it to the beach? Until I can see the, my feet in the water. Upton family, if it ain't a pool, need not apply. <laughs> what do you think, Miss Amanda? Um, I think it's lovely. I wish I had a drink. I wish I had a piña colada. If you like pina colada. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is absolute paradise here at Punta Esmeralda. Right behind me you got the lifeguard stand and then to the side you have the cenote. And what's neat when you're in the ocean on top you can feel the coolness of the cenote water and then if you dive down like just a foot you can feel the warmth of that Caribbean sea in Mexico. So. This is awesome guys, fun day. All right, so there's the family out there. I'm gonna dramatically run out into the ocean to them. Here we go. Uno, dos, three. What do you give it? I get it a seven. I give it a zero. Oh, mean. I, I give it a 10. I give it a 10. <laughs> yeah, I give it 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Oh, a zero. A zero. Two effects. Ryder is like that judge from American <laughs> Idol. Who's the mean one? I give it a 10. Simon. Uh, Simon. Simon says he gives it a zero. Hello, it's me, it's me and Charlie. In the wild ocean, 
We haven't seen anyone for days. Don't look at them. We've seen no one. We've been afloat at sea. Never mind the land behind us. How have we survived? Well, I didn't want to tell you, but I've been drinking my own urine to survive. <laughs> Your urine? Yes, I must survive, because I haven't seen land. I mean, don't look over there. I haven't seen land for, oh no, more land. <laughs> There's land! It's a miracle! We're saved, Charlie! We're saved, go! It's a nut flower tree. Oh! Ooh, nuts. That's nuts. Oh, nuts. Oh, nutty. That wife oh, is nutty. Nuts. It's a sea nut. I think it's good. Whenever you've seen it, then you've already seen it. Ah! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Love you. So we don't think it's a sea nut, we think it's what? Someone's walking on it in the ocean and now we throw it. Dare you to eat it. <laughs> do it, do it. Do you want to make your kids sick? If I could have 50 bucks, I would put it in my mouth. Dude, sea nuts are just a delicacy in Mexico. If you get I'll bite it for like $50. Yeah. Oh! Can we 50 have bucks? Yeah. No way. 20 bucks? 20 bucks and I'll bite it. No. I don't know. Yeah, you do a hard bargain. I'll bite it. One dollar. No. I don't even no. want you to bite it. That seems so don't gross. Bite it. Don't bite it. It's a random it's sea almond. almond. I don't care. Don't do it. I, I said no. Okay, yeah, no. ma. Mommy says no. I'm Cooler heads open. prevailed. I'm breaking it open. Sorry. Well, this was nuts. My Good job, mom. Eat a yeah, girl. Yeah, I'd say this. Anytime you can go to the beach with your family, it's an amazing day. Mm -hmm. To the pool, Except do water. When the things bite you. Yeah. When the plankton bite, Ryan when the shark bites, is that a manta ray on my foot? Yeah. These are a few of the dangers in the sea for me. Oh, What's up, ladies? Mom went to go check out the food situation. Okay. Let's go there. What? Okay. All right, so they had a vendor on the beach. And what do we get? Papas. Papas. Translated. What'd you get, Charlie? I've never seen that exotic food before. What is that? Palomitas. Papa corn. And this is potatoes, by the way. Is it delicious? Yeah, so the big takeaways, so things we would want you to know is bring your own food. So that's number one. There was a vendor out there selling different chips and potatoes and popcorn. But other than that, that's all you had. I like the potato ones. Yeah, right. I love the potato ones. Check out the potato ones. They were 20 pesos a bag. I think there was a tax because we spoke English. We think that price went up. So speak good Spanish, you get cheaper popcorn when you're there. And then number two, we really liked that you had the cenote water there because usually when you leave the beach, you know how you get super sandy? You could wash off in that cenote water, which is fresh water. But definitely go check it out, Punta Esmeralda. It was awesome having the cenote fresh water and the beach right there, absolutely beautiful. So we're tired and when you have kids and you're tired, there's one thing that you get to do. It's take a nap. It's not take a nap. It's get in the pool.